Traditionally, fenders have been the solution to saving the side of your boat. You deploy these things when you're coming in. But the problem with it is, if you hit the side of your dock, they have a tendency to want to roll up. So if you have an extra person or two to be able to catch the, the boat, that's always best. Another problem with the fender is, if you are having a heavy lot of wave action, this fender can end up on top of the dock and destroy the side of your boat. The next solution has always been the traditional P-bumper. It's screwed to the side of the dock, down on the bottom, but it really doesn't give a lot of protection. If you're coming in too hard, you can easily tear the side of your boat right out. Assuming this is your dock, what we've done is combine the rolling ability of a fender with a secure attachment flange of the P-bumpers. This also has a navigational night glow dot, so when you're coming in at night, you'll be able to see this and be able to navigate a little better. What you do is you put it on the top of the dock and tight to the dock face. You take a 3 16 inch drill bit and you screw down the holes. screws you put your plate on top but with the length of the screws this only requires about an inch and a half of lumber place them on top align your holes this is a number three Phillips bit you can also use a Robbie number two tightening you just want to take make sure that the screws the plate and the flange are all in contact this also has an air inflation valve wet the needle and insert it into the hole and what you're looking for is about half inch indentation Just about like that. Keeps the shape, doesn't deform. Now you see with this fender, it'll roll up and down with the side of your boat, not causing any damage. If you are coming in too hard, you're going to glance off it. Well, you're asking now about the corners. Well, we have a solution for that as well. This screws right up to the corner. It has the same attachment flange, the same navigational night glow dot, which is phosphorescent material. And this also screws up to your dock. You just need an inch and a half of lumber and something solid. So if you have to take a piece of lumber and screw it down onto your deck surface, it's not meant to go through an aluminum dock or concrete, but a wood dock. If you can figure out how to attach that along the rail, you need about an inch and a half. A 2 by 4 would do. That's about it. But this gives you all the protection you could possibly need. It's nice and soft, and again, Use this needle valve and you pump it up just so you have that half inch of deflection. Have a great day.